Hi, uh, my name is Charlie Moll. I'm a uh, composer for TV and film. And once upon a time, I used to be a sax player. Um, that's how I started my career off. Um, and recently, I got quite excited um, when a company called Odyssey brought out this thing here, which is called a travel sax. Um, this is the first version of it, <clears throat> which they sent me a, year, a couple of years ago. Um, because up until then, I had been using um, this, which is an iwi, um, to play virtual instruments live with a band and more importantly to use as a, a wind controller in Logic. Um, so when I'm writing um, various MIDI parts, <coughs> composing monophonic lines, melodic lines, whether it be a sax, a trumpet, a violin, st string line, whatever, I would use this rather than play it on the keyboard because it's just a lot more expressive using your breath and an inst and, it, and blowing into an instrument than using a, your finger to move up and down a mod wheel to create the expression, which is what most people do on a keyboard. Um, so yeah, so um, the trouble with the iwi was that it's the fingering is like that, which is kind of like it's this sort of electronic metal that triggers the, the notes. And although it's sort of vaguely like the fingering on a clarinet, sax, whatever, it's not exactly like it. So it's quite a big learning curve and, it, and it's quite sensitive to mistakes. <coughs> you need to get really good at it. For this, they have made on a 3D printer, which, and, and it, the keys are exactly the same as a real sax. Um, on version one, the, pretty amazing, but the, the, the keys are a little bit soft um, and Again, it's quite easy to sort of make errors. Um, but the new version that they brought, version two, which is pretty much identical in size, a little bit heavier, but you know, it's relatively just feels like picking up a, a mouse. Um, the keys, um, they've made, made an effort to make it much more robust and feel much more like a real sax, which it does. I mean, it's literally exactly the same. And so the, the concept is you can use it to practice with headphones. And it also has, an, this the version two has an inbuilt speaker. So they've got inbuilt sounds, which you can program. You basically program it on, on an app on your iPhone um and then the, the sounds automatically come out of here so there's what's great about that is there's no latency and you can just wander around the garden don't even need headphones um or a phone or anything and just play at, at any level of volume you like to play an instrument you need to be inspired by the sound that's what's going to get you out of bed to practice um you can there are various other external programs that you can um purchase such as the Swan saxophones, which is what I've got on my iPad here. Um, so you can put this on the iPad or iPhone. Lot, you know, if you're using Logic, um, which I'll do another video on, um, you know, any sound you want. I absolutely love this because I haven't touched my sax for, you know, probably 30 years. It just sits there in its box, begging me to open it up, put it all together, get my embouchure working again, get a get a read, 
all, all the things that you have to do to be a, a sax player um, takes a lot of work. Um, and when you used to play a lot and then you haven't played for ages, you pick it up and try and play and it just doesn't sound the way that you remember and you want it to sound and it's it's a little bit disheartening um so you might occasionally i occasionally get asked to to play with a you know a party or something and have a band and you know, get the sax out because i can still play a little bit um but it's just not the same um but now that i've got this it's actually inspired me to play the sax more because it, it just sits on my desktop. I don't need to plug it in. I can just start playing immediately, uh, and it and it sounds great because it's the sounds not being made by my mouth, but it fools me into thinking it is because it's got a it's got a read, and I even sort of do pretend vibrato and if you program the sound in, in the computer to have vibrato it pulls you into thinking that you're doing it anyway so it just it just feels like you're actually playing and and so it inspires you to play and, and practice um and then when you pick up the real thing you, you suddenly realize that you've all, all that stuff that you learned 30 years ago has kind of returned because you're spending so much time just playing with this thing it's just a total it just feels totally natural and and the, the fingering is identical to a real sax it feels exactly the same and it's it's incredible absolutely incredible um, when they managed to um, get the inbuilt sounds as good as the sort of external programs like swarm or whatever um, it really is going to be something um, I can't believe that any sax player shouldn't have one of these. Um, it's revolutionary. It really is. Um, I'll play a little bit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to also mention that um, both Travel Sex 1 and Travel Sex 2 have Bluetooth, um, which is pretty amazing because you can then just wander off without a cable and still, this, this one's actually got the cable, but this one doesn't. Um, okay, I'll try demonstrating a few bits and pieces. Here's a soft tenor. You might recognize this one. Bit of trumpet, you might recognize this one as well. And put them all together and you get a horn section. Don't have four brass, put them all together and you get a horn section. Don't have four brass players, all you need is this. Put them all together. And now let's put them all together and you get an instant horn section in a box.
Don't have four brass players for your band? Just get one of these. All you need is this. <laughs> Try again. Now let's put them all together. Don't have four brass players in your band? Just get one of these. Okay, let's. Mm -hmm. 